Welcome back to this week's edition of the Mallet Sports Minute. I'm your host, Ruben Porras, and without further ado, we're just going to get into it. We're going to start off with our boys basketball team, who are looking to have a 4-3 record after playing tonight against Eastwood. Our ladies, on the other hand, have a 4-2 record and are looking to defeat Eastwood tomorrow. Moving on to our football team, they unfortunately lost to Eastwood in what was a very close game in overtime. They are still in the playoffs, however, and are hoping to defeat Midland Lee and move on. So good luck to all the teams who are playing this weekend. Moving on, we have news from the NFL. There are quite a few upsets that happened this weekend, but two of them caught my eye. To start off, the Giants defeated the Seahawks 17-12. The Giants were led by their backup quarterback Colt McCoy, since Daniel Jones was dealing with a hamstring injury. No upset was bigger this week than the one that happened with the Washington football team and the Steelers. The Washington football team defeated the now 11-1 Steelers 23-17 after Big Ben was intercepted by John Bostick with two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. These upsets were pretty fun to watch and it should be even more fun to see who ends up winning the NFC East division and who earns that playoff spot. Our last piece of news comes from MLB Free Agency. Some players have finished signing new deals with different teams. The now former Ranger Lance Lynn has signed a new deal with the White Sox. The White Sox also signed former national player Adam Eaton. And lastly, Carlos Santana, former Indian, will now be with the Kansas City Royals. This is only the beginning of free agency, so there should be a lot more action coming soon. Well, that was this week's edition of the Mallet Sports Minute. I was your host, Ruben Porras, and as always, stay safe and take care.